Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. This is Miss AV, Arctic Vet, Arctic White Corvette. That's where it comes from. It means so much more to that. There's so much more meaning to that, I mean. Anyhow, today we had been working on this a little bit. We got a new radiator put in. I need to finish putting the air um, intake back in and then fill up the radiator with coolant get all that topped off check the other fluids but also we need to get the interior all put back together because I've, I've come up with an idea for the whole HUD situation and all that anyways let's roll this intro before we dive into much more detail on this AV here so roll that intro Poor girl, so dirty. Whew. Man, it's a sad sight to just see her sitting here. But as some of you know, Miss AV is sitting here because, well, that lovely 4L60 transmission, the automatic four speed transmission in these beauties went bad on us again. So it is what it is. It happens. We have a new one and it's sitting right inside there. It's in the house right now. It's sitting in the house. We just don't have anywhere to work on this inside. We're gonna end up working on it in our neighbor's drive right over there. And I don't wanna take up much of their, like, I don't wanna take up their drive for too long, you know? I Like, they're okay with it, and they're totally fine with us using it and parking the car there for a little bit. But I, this has been sitting for months, and I don't wanna do that over there. So, it's getting closer to time to do the transmission swap. When we do that, we'll have a great video. It's, I know it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a fun experience. I'm looking forward to it because that means we get to drive Miss AV again. But before we can do that, if you guys recall, I was talking about how we were gonna get a HUD system, a heads up display. I was super excited, right? We are gonna get the dash, we were gonna get the, uh, the, display the driver informational display and the heads up display itself which is like cut right there however um when we went back to get some other parts which are pretty much sitting behind me in the back <laughs> when we got some of these other parts and some of these over here we found out that somebody was offering to buy those parts for a lot more than what like what we had done a deal for and i said you know what hey uh, I'm totally cool with this. You sell that thing to them, like that's totally fine. I'll find another one when the time comes. So as for right now, we're just gonna put the dash back together. We're gonna hopefully get the air conditioner working again by swapping out our, our units because that is a part that we did get to pick up. Usually you can just go into those um, units, tear them apart and repair what needs repaired like the lights that's a big deal on those um however we just we happen to get pretty lucky and we got a a new one to come with us in the transmission and everything else that we got so we're just going to swap it out see if it works see if there's anything else for, with the air conditioning up here in the engine bay that we need to deal with potentially a recharge um then honestly that should be it like we should be good because the problem that we have with the air conditioner is that the driver's side is constantly heat and the passenger side will do whatever it's supposed to do because it's dual climate so you can have cold over here and hot over there or hot over here and cold over there or you know cold and cold but ours is stuck on hot no matter what on the driver's side and that happens to be something that's wrong with the hvac control system so Hopefully swapping that out takes care of that. Another thing, you see we got some headlights over there. So instead of, I, I actually have a whole nother set of headlights downstairs that I wasn't gonna put on, but now I'm kind of like, I don't know if they're ever, ever actually gonna get on because I have brand new, I have not brand new, but I have new motors that don't grind that I can put on the headlights. And really it just comes down to that's the gear in those. So like 
now I have one I can take apart, show you guys how to fix it, and make a whole lot more content. Anyways, man, there's so much to do here. I'm going to go ahead, set you guys down, get to work on putting the dash back in. I'm probably not going to make a how-to on that. Maybe I will. You know what? Let's do it. Let's make a how-to on that. So we'll put that in another video. But you guys, I'll show you a little bit of clips right here of the whole process. Really, it's going to be pretty simple. And then we'll make a whole how-to video on that for anybody that's looking to put their dash back in. Now, for the HVAC stuff, super easy. We can get that knocked out pretty quick, too. Um, what else? A whole center console. Let's roll. Alright, so now I've got most of the air intake on. The filter is not currently on because I washed it, so we've got to let that dry. It's going to dry for a few days, and we'll put it on. But our next step, we could be filling up the coolant. However, we're going to step inside and get that dash put back in. So the first one that we're going to put in is going to be the guys that are in the corners here, right there. These are some super short 7 millimeter bolts and one goes over on the driver's side and one over on the passenger side. So I'm going to get that in first. Alright, so while I was here I went ahead and I took the HVAC unit out and put the new one in. So now Miss Avi got some sparkle glittery. Ooh, she's getting girly now. Ah, the wind. It blew over my mat. What's up guys? It's Trevor at the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Before we roll this vlog, I want to let you guys know that you need to head over to the Arctic Vet website. So go over to arcticvet.com. And you guys can pick yourself up one of these hoodies. You can save 15% on these hoodies if you use the promo code SPRING2023. We got so on these ones, these are all new. We got the Faith Family Fun going down the right side. And over on the left side, we got the YouTube. And then on the back, we got that OG Arctic Vet. I don't think I have a logo of it. Let's check the car. This happens to be AV that started Arctic Vet. We don't, we just have the the name arctic vet and i can't really show you guys my back so anyhow you can get 15 percent off of the hoodies using spring 2023 you can get hats shirts of all kinds we have this new logos on there the new arctic vet family logos on there guys i'm super excited head over to arcticvet.com and begin shopping today and again use that promo code to get 15 percent off of hoodies it's only good for hoodies so get you one while you can because it's not going to stay there forever now let's roll this vlog ah all right we're back with miss av however we haven't gotten everything done oh man it's pouring water it's been raining so i haven't been able to do much but look at that just all this water draining oh yeah the fun but the dash is actually in and now i'm just getting all of the rest of this put back together and uh also going to be doing some more stuff that we got in the back there the hvac stuff i'm going to be testing that soon got the engine bay ready just need to put some coolant in here hopefully i think it's supposed to start warming up shining up again i got some more parts coming like this this here this bulb um the holder is actually broken for that so i bought a new one so that we can get our um shifting position indicator down here working again because it was not working uh i don't even know why it broke or how it broke but they break whatever anyhow that is a little update for av for right now she's just the project car that keeps on projecting anyhow in some other news which is no way like i'm not being paid or anything for this but it's just a this is what got me in the cars kind of thing fast and the furious you guys probably know the movie you've heard about it it the latest one fast furious 10 is coming out it's part one it's coming out however what i want to let you guys in on is they have these hot wheel sets and these are all 
are are the Hot Wheel Premiums. They're like seven dollars a piece, six ninety nine, I think. And they have this really cool crossover of a skyline. Really sweet. So, what I want you guys to know is that we are on our way to another small but very large milestone of subscribers and that happens to be 2500 2500 subscribers guys we're we're so close we're getting there i'm trying to pull up my dashboard real quick so hopefully you can see that's a little 1524 so the sooner that we hit 2500 subscribers i am going to sign this set here and I'm gonna give it away. Now, what I wanna know is, should I give one away? There are five cars, so we could have five winners or one winner that takes it all. You guys let me know. I will have another set that is unsigned on my website, so if you go to Arctic Vet, you'll find it. It's not there yet, but as we get closer, that stuff will start popping up. This giveaway will be ready for 2,500 subscribers. Adi, do you think you're gonna win that? You wanna win that? I can pay you $20 <laughs> for that set. You wanna pay me $20 for that set? Man, that's not a good deal. That's a bad deal. That's a bad deal. They're <laughs> gonna give me $30? 30? Man, I want $2 million. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this little AV update, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ring the bell for AD because he's got $30 to buy this Hot Wheels set what? from you if you win it. $20 if you win it. <laughs> we appreciate it, guys. Have a great day, a blessed week, and we'll catch you in the next one. Share and subscribe. Let's hit 2,500 subscribers. Thousand. Dang, that'd be a lot. Let me get my numbers right. 2,500. Yeah, buddy. Hee <laughs> Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true This God is fixing you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ